Dear friends, welcome to AS American English Center. Take your book. We have come here to the video number seven. The heart touching story, a philosophical story, a beautiful story. You are taking an example of a pregnant deer. So, this story says about what? From morning to night, you learn certain things, certain philosophies which structures your mind, which shapes your character which says what is your behavior how do you behave and this becomes your destiny morning to night whatever you think it becomes your word and whatever the words come out of your mouth it becomes your action and the action becomes your behavior and habit and the habit becomes your character and the character becomes your destiny here is a character of a deer what the deer does see here in the forest a pregnant deer is about to give birth a pregnant deer is about to give birth she finds a remote grass field near a strong flowing river a strong flowing river is there a grass is there she goes there and stands she needs to give birth to a child this seems a safe place this is a safe place for her suddenly labor pains begin the pain starts at the same moment dark clouds around the, the the dark clouds were around her uh, above and lightning starts a forest fire and a lightning comes and a forest fire catches she looks to her left she sees through her left and sees a hunter with his bow extended pointing at her so on the left side there's a man hunter with a bow exactly pointing at her to her right right side she sees she spots a hungry lion a hungry lion is waiting to pounce on her approaching her one side a lion is coming one side a hunter is pointing and one side lightning fire the forest is about to get fire is about to get fire and the river current river flowing down what can the pregnant deer do what can she do she's in labor she's in labor means what she's in the pain pregnancy and the time to give birth to a child so she is feeling the pain what will happen will the deer survive will the deer survive will it be able to cope up will it be able to come up will she give birth to a fawn fawn means what a young deer will it be able to give a uh, give birth to a fawn so what happened here will the fawn survive will it be able to survive or will everything be burnt by the forest fire or everything will be burnt including the hunter including the lion including everything what will happen so here cloudy sky forest fire in one side forest fire one side hungry hunter is there in the right side in the left side hungry lion is there and down a current uh, big river fast flowing river the pregnant deer is here about to give birth to baby this is the situation will she perish to the hunter's arrow will the hunter will he able to kill this lion uh, sorry the deer will she die a horrible death at the hands of the hungry lion approaching her hungry lion is approaching her will she die because of the because the lion may attack and kill the deer she is constrained by the fire on the one side one side fire she is unable to run and the flowing river on the other side it is the flowing river fast flowing river is on the other side and boxed in by her natural predators natural predators one side hunter one side the hungry lion everything is clubbed what does she do what can she do she focuses on giving birth to a new life she also has to focus on giving birth to a new child new baby and uh, what happens the sequence of events that follows are what happens next what happens next lightning strikes and blinds the hunter one lightning happened and the hunter he became blind it uh, it attacks his uh, eyes and uh, he becomes blind he releases the arrow so because of his blindness and because of the pain he releases his arrow which jibs past the deer and strikes the hungry lion so it's almost touch the deer and kills the hungry lion which is on the other side so hunter he aims at the deer but somehow he misses because of the lightning 
and it jips through the deer and goes and kills the lion. So it starts to rain heavily. One state it starts heavy raining, uh, starts heavily raining, and the forest fire is slowly doused by rain. So the rain able to douse the uh, fire. The deer gives birth to a healthy fawn. So healthy fawn. In our life too, there are moments of choice when we are confronted on all sides with negative thoughts and possibilities. So life is full of negative thoughts. Life is full of negative things. Maybe your father is not right, mother is not right, brother is not right, maybe neighbors are not good, maybe your teacher is not good, maybe you have some physical ailments, maybe because of some politics, something happened. So all the negative things are surrounding you, all the negative possibility things are around you. Some thoughts are so powerful that they are overcome us and overwhelm us. So some thoughts, what is some thought? You may be highly ambitious of, of winning something, maybe on UPSC examination, have you seen that uh, uh, many poor people, handicapped people, they are able to write and get through and become IAS officers, IPS officers, poor people able to be successful businessmen. Have you seen, see Obama is a person who comes from a, what, what, what type of community he comes from? He comes from black community. Once it is considered to be what? They are the slaves and he was able to be the president of America, right? So he is able to overcome. His thoughts were so powerful that he was able to cross all the negative things and he is able to achieve something. Maybe we can learn from the deer. The priority of the deer. What is the priority of the deer? What is the importance of the deer? What is the duty of the deer? At that particular moment, in the given moment, was simply to give birth to a baby. The duty of the deer is to give birth to a baby. The rest was not in her hands. Other things was not in her hands. Any action or reaction that changed her focus would have likely resulted in death or disaster. Suppose she might have thought to do something. She might have died because she is giving birth to a baby. And one side hunter is there. One side lion is there. If she tried something else, she would have died. So her concentration was full on giving birth to the baby. You ask yourself. Where is your focus? So, what's your focus in life is all about? Where is your faith and hope? What is the faith you have? What is the hope you have? In the midst of any storm, do you have any storm coming out like in your, in your present life? All the problems. So, dig, do keep faith on the creator always. Have faith on the creator. He will never disappoint you. Never. He will never disappoint you. Remember, he neither slumbers nor sleeps. Slumbers means what? He is lazy, no? He sleeps. So here we are saying he as a God, but here we are saying he has some external force, some external power, some power which has made you to be born in this world, some consciousness. Maybe, uh, you know, the duty of the sun is to give light. It gives life. The duty of water is also giving life. The duty of air giving life. A duty of a tree is to give shade. So each and everybody has a purpose in this planet. So there is a purpose and the purpose is written by somebody. So remember he neither slumbers nor sleep. One of the best I have read. So this particular story of uh, her dear pregnant dear giving birth to a child and uh, she is not bothered about all the negative things happening around it. She is only fully focused on her own duty, her own mission, her own what she has to do and she go, gives birth to a baby and this is what the story is all about. So everybody in your life, you may have problems. So try to overcome and try to focus only on what is the purpose of you are born here, what is the purpose of you to do certain things over there, here in this planet and you forget all the negative things. So your thoughts and your wish would be such powerful that the negative things will be drowsed. So this is the story. I request one by one to come forward and tell what you are able to understand. Yes, let us start with Emani. Please come forward and tell what you are able to understand. Yes, madam. Yeah, you can just try to say. Yeah. The pregnant deer, such a beautiful story. In the forest, a pregnant deer is about to give birth. She finds a grass field near a strong flowing river. 
This seems a safe place. Suddenly, labor pain begins. At the same moment, dark clouds around bow and lightning starts a forest fire. She looks to her left and sees a hunter with his bow extended pointing at her. To her right, she spots a hungry lion approaching her. Look at the camera. What can the pregnant deer do? She is in labor. What will happen? Will the deer survive? Will she give birth to a fawn? Will the fawn survive? Or will everything be burnt by the forest fire? Will she perish to the hunter's arrow? Will she die a horrible death at the hands of the hungry lion approaching her? She is constrained by the fire on the one side and the, follow and the flowing river on the other and boxed in by her natural predators. What does she do? She focuses on giving birth to a new life. The sequence of events that follows are Lightning strikes and blinds the hunter. He releases the arrow which zips past the deer and strikes the hunter line, hungry line. It starts to rain heavily and the forest fire is slowly doused by rain. The deer gives birth to a healthy fall. In our life too, there are moments of choice when we are confronted on all sides with negative thoughts and possibilities. Some thoughts are so powerful that they overcome us and overwhelm us. Maybe we can learn from the deer. The priority of the deer is in the given moment was simply to give birth to a baby. The rest was not in our hands. And any action or reaction that changed your focus would have likely resulted in death or disaster. Ask yourself, where is your focus? Where is your faith or hope? In the midst of any storm, do keep faith or the on the Creator always. He will never disappoint you, never. Remember, neither slumbers nor sleep. Okay, madam. Amani, were you in a situation like this deer? Were you in a situation like this deer, where a lot of villains are surrounding you? Either they want to kill you, they want to torture you, uh, have you faced a situation no, like that? Yet, no. So far, no villains no. have come in your life. So negative things have come in your life. No villains also has come no, in from nothing. nothing. So so far, you have not stepped into the world, right? Yes. Okay, good, fine. I request this gentleman to come forward and tell me. You have to tell your own life experience also, where you met with problems, where you met with the tortures, where you met with sufferings, right? You ask uh, something about Karnanidhi, he might say, you know, uh, they attacked his eyes. Once he was about to beaten up and he was put in the roadside as if he is dead. But somehow he is able to come up. And Jailalitha, if you say she will tell, you know, once in assembly, they pulled her all the, you know, try to, uh, try to insult her, humiliate her, all type of problems happen, right? So, in like that, in your life, as any problems happen like that, and tell the situations and tell how you are able to overcome that. And what are you focused at? Even if all those things are there, I am going to achieve this. This is the purpose of my life is all about. I am not bothered about whatever the negative things around me. Yes, start. Um, good morning, guys. Um, today we have seen about a story, a heart-touching story. And the title of the story is The Pregnant Deer. <coughs> so here we are going to see about a story. Uh, in the forest, a pregnant deer is no, about no, no, to No, 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 no. Let us, let us say, you know, the story, everybody, she also read, I also read. So, no, sir, tell oh, Okay, good. Oh. Uh, um, so, in a forest, a deer is there. She is about to give birth to a deer, uh, about a uh, young deer, a small deer. Um, and she falls in a situation where um, uh, at one side she is uh, surrounded by a hungry lion and the other side she is... Uh, uh, on the other side there is a hungry hunter and the f and the and in the front side uh, th there is a river and the back side there is a forest fire she she is in the middle um, what can whether she will succeed in giving uh, birth to the phone or uh, not so i in that situation um, because of the dark lightning uh, that uh, there got a forest fire the then uh, uh, then after the lightning strikes, uh, 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 suddenly a huge lightning comes and uh, hunter, uh, it comes and uh, uh, 
it's the hunter he the hunter becomes blind and he loses his target that the bow it's the uh, hungry lion and it dies and suddenly it's it starts to rain heavily the fo- the forest fire it uh, it will disappear because of the rain it is go- disappearing slowly same as uh, now the deer gives birth to a fawn in same in our life too we have so, uh, so many struggles negative thoughts um, and uh, and the uh, will we should have the will like the deer we should have the will uh, we should overcome that uh, negative thoughts and we should we should be we should uh, succeed in our life <coughs> so this is the story of the pregnant deer thank you yes please come forward you have to say in short the essence of what it's all about and tell about your real life experience you have any negative experiences hello friends i am akash today we saw about a story and the story is about the, the title is a pregnant deer once in a forest there was a pregnant deer about to give birth to his fawn and so he so he went to a seem safe place in a grassland and uh, in one side of uh, and right side of uh, uh, of his deer there was a hungry lion and right side there was an a uh, hunter and in front of there there was a river and back side full of forest fire surrounded full of forest fire so can the deer able to survive or she will die and in this case it becomes uh, the lightning the lightning that uh, attacks the hunter and the hunter uh, gone blind so he loses his grip from the arrow and he just uh, uh, he just uh, attacked at the hungry lion and the lion dies dies and uh, the suddenly a huge a huge rain uh, comes and uh, it uh, vanishes all the uh, forest fire and uh, we can see that and uh, it able to so finally the for, uh, the deer is able to give birth to his fawn uh, because he is only focus is to gi- give only only focus is to give birth to his uh, uh, fawn so he doesn't uh, lose any concentration on that so friends we have many negative thoughts and uh, many struggling in our uh, struggling in our life uh, we should all overcome that struggle uh, like this dear uh, if any situation or any anything if you face uh, keep trust on your creator always she will do all the rest and uh, finally remember the neither slums or sleep yes man you you gentlemen please come forward and tell all your problems in your life and how you are able to overcome and how you are able to focus on on your duty and what are the problems you just share with everybody hi friends i'm abhijit and uh, i'm going to like summarize about the uh, story pregnant deer say like my friend said the uh, story i'm just going to say what we have learned on this about this story uh, we have learned that uh, the deer who are surrounded by many uh, no negative things like the hungry lion the hunter and uh, the forest fire so it overcome it uh, no he believed Uh, the pregnant deer believe that nothing will happen to him his will and uh, his uh, no what to say the possibility and he believed in the not almighty. he she uh oh. she okay she believed in the almighty and uh, she overcame all the you know negative thoughts like uh, the the hunter who was about to kill the deer uh, uh, through the lightning it killed the lion and like that the lion died and a huge rain came and this uh, made the forest fire go so in this case we have we learned that the uh, no we have to believe on the god and he will help us he won't disappoint us at any time he will help us and uh, and by the way we should believe him and uh, an experience i would like to share in my life was i suppose in 8th standard 8th i was they are so only boy over there means only boy in the sense or in no, the class sir, in the, all are girls no 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 sir <laughs> like uh, I, i was only boy who was surrounded all by you know negative things like oh, i only boy surrounded with all negative yes. things okay oh, okay so you know i actually 
I said some bad thing to a girl in my class. Oh God, at the eighth standard. <laughs> some oh. bad because she irritated me, so I by mistake said a bad thing about her. Then uh, she said I'm gonna complain to the principal. Oh. So that's one negative thing. I might get ex, uh, you know, expelled from the school. That was a bad thing. Expelled from the school. Yes. Yeah, such a such a serious allegation. My God, worse than the hunter, worse <laughs> than the lion. This is something serious. Then okay. Uh, next one Go was uh, ah. my exam, so I coming. So you are a male deer, not a female deer. With all <laughs> these problems. Okay. Then Examination second. Then say, uh, second was the examinations. Third, I had a seminar to go. Uh, so I was, you know, scared whether that girl might, you know, complain to the principal. Always girls are coming in your life. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Uh -huh. What to do, sir? Uh -huh. Then uh, at this age, too much of tortures with the girls. Okay. Uh -huh. Then. Uh, Next was the exams and next was the seminar. So, actually, I didn't do anything. I just uh, you know, consoled. Means I said sorry to that girl. She huh. okay, sir. So don't do it next time. Then all uh, things went on smoothly. Okay, in your life you have experienced so much of things. Okay, yes, gentlemen, next gentleman, please come forward, man. Yeah, come here. Go up, go up. Be careful with the words. Don't rub the words. Huh? Uh, don't scratch the words. In short. Don't touch the board. Huh? Hi friends, I am Vijay. Today we saw a beautiful story about a pregnant deer, which was a, a very, very heart touching story. Uh, this, uh, this pregnant deer was a uh, was given was going to give a birth to his fawn. Birth to his fawn, uh. so she suffered with the labor pain, and uh, and she was surrounded with uh, all ne uh, many negative things such as uh, a hungry hunter, a hungry lion, and uh, forest fire, and river. So with uh, with her con confidence and uh, belief in uh, and faith in God, which was uh, helping to save her in the pain i would like to share my experience the, uh, with you that um, give it a i faced the experience uh, tell me tell, tell tell the experience uh, 6 months ago uh, i was absent i was absent for school for one week when i was coming to school uh, in uh, I don't know anything about uh, Viva. They conduct in uh, co uh, in computer period. They conducted Viva. I I didn't prepare for it at that time. Uh, I was very scared and uh, my friends was demotivating me. That is, uh, teacher will reduce your mark. Uh, that time, uh, I was very scared and uh, no one helped me. I I was believing God that uh, teacher will uh, teacher will not reduce my mark. And uh, I prepared within that one period, and uh, I spoke well. Teacher appreciated me. So this this was my experience about uh, faith in God and my confidence level. Good, so good. Thank good. you. Good. Please come, come up. Yes, madam. Please come, come up, up. Say something and come. Give the mic to her. Go up, go up. Say, say something. It's, it's okay. Just say what is the story is all about. Next uh, next to you. And today's story is uh, uh, about the pre pregnant deer, uh, which is about to give birth to a fawn. Um, um, one day, uh, pregnant a pregnant deer was uh, near the uh, near the bank of the river, and uh, to 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 the left. It was there was a hungry lion and to the right there was a hungry hunter. Um, um, hunt, hunter uh, he is with a bow uh, pointing to the deer and uh, hungry lion is uh, approaching her. Then uh, in this situation will will the deer survive or? Uh, uh, will she give birth to a fawn or she will die and uh, they 
the events or the events happened at that time or uh, the lightning lightning strikes and uh, and the forest fire uh, gets reduced then uh, sorry lightning strikes the ha hunter's eyes and he becomes he becomes blind then um, uh, at that time he lost his control over the bow and it hits the lion and it gets dead then um um then he uh, sorry the re the the deer give birth to a gives birth to a fawn successfully uh, the moral of the story is uh, if you uh, believe in a creator or god and having faith and confidence uh, you will you will reach the level okay you okay you too okay okay i just uh, asked this young girl to come forward please come forward you are not told see uh, what our father uh, what our parents they do is they want our son and daughter not to involved in any problems they don't they want to give a secured safe protective life right this is what our parents are expecting us and they do everything see a father gives 10000 rupees to his son who is studying in 8th standard or 9th standard is it good or bad buys and gives iphone 45000 rupees iphone is it good or bad he buys a bike and gives for 1 lakh just that day or this fellow was having 2 lakh worth of uh, what is that watch is it good or bad when you give all these comforts at the young age when they don't know the value of that is it good or bad they should suffer they should undergo the pain everybody should experience the experience these type of situations so these situations make a person more matured there comes one rajinikanth there comes one modi there comes one you know one successful person when he undergoes sufferings he becomes a noble hearted person he becomes highly matured and successful person yes madam could you tell me your experience regarding have you faced real experience yes no sir i won't try to tell that okay you can say 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 okay i would like to tell what is faith actually faith is is like a small lamp in a dark forest it doesn't show everything all around but it gives enough light for the next step to be safe so in this story the moral is just like that that is uh, since the deer had a faith uh, in her, in her creator that's the reason why she was able to survive that's the reason why she was able to give life to the uh, to its fawn so always have faith in god and never lose hope we don't know what tomorrow will bring so always have both the things in your life that is faith and hope good good yes uh, you like to speak if you want you can speak in tamil also we don't mind tamil la pesre appa ne okay nanbargale yes american angila vagupulukku varaverkirom ungalude inda book eduthukollungal kadai 7 inda moral kadai tattva kadai inda manadai thodakoodiya kadai enna endru paarkira poludhu or maan நிறை மாத கர்ப்பிணியான மான் இந்த மான் ஒரு குழந்தையை ஈண்டெடுக்க போகிறது அது ஒரு காற்றிலே ஒரு புல் தரை அதிகமாக இருக்கக்கூடிய இடத்துல தேர்ந்தெடுத்து அங்கே தன்னுடைய பிரசவத்தை முடித்துவிட வேண்டும் என்று அங்கே காற்று கொண்டிருக்கிறது ஒரு பக்கம் கடுமையான ஆறு ஓடிக்கொண்டிருக்கிறது இன்னொரு பக்கம் பார்த்தீர்கள் என்றால் வலதுபுறம் ஒரு பசியோ பசியான ஒரு சிங்கம் நின்று கொண்டிருக்கிறது இந்த மானை சாப்பிடுவதற்கு இந்த பக்கம் பார்த்தா ஒரு ப ஒரு வேட்டைக்காரன் மானை வேட்டையாடுவதற்காக குறி வைத்து கொண்டு இருக்கிறான் மேலே பார்க்கிற பொழுது கடுமையான தீ பிடித்து விடுகிறது அந்த காற்றிலே கீழே வேகமாக ஓடிக்கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய ஆர் இதன் நடுவே அந்த மான் என்ன செய்ய வேண்டும் கன்றை ஈன்று எடுக்க வேண்டும் ஸோ இவ்வளவு பிரச்சனை இருக்கிற பொழுது அந்த மான் எதை பற்றியும் யோசனை பண்ணவில்லை தன்னுடைய முழு கவனத்தையும் தான் ஈன்று ஈன்றெடுக்கக்கூடிய தன்னுடைய குழந்தையை பற்றி தன்னுடைய எல்லா மானை பற்றி தான் நினைத்து குழந்தையை ஈன்றுவதற்காக முழு முயற்சியில் ஈடுபட்டு கொண்டிருக்கிறது அப்பொழுது ஒரு மின்னல் தாக்கி அந்த வேட்டைக்காரனுடைய கண்கள் குருடாகி விடுகிறது ஒரு நிமிடம் அவனுடைய அம்பை திசை மாறி அது சிங்கத்தை கொள்கிறது 
அதே போன்று அதே நேரத்திலே மழை கடுமையாக மழை பெய்து அந்த வனத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த தீயை அணைக்கிறது மான் தன்னுடைய முழு கவனத்தையும் தான் ஈண்டெடுக்கக்கூடிய அந்த குழந்தையினுடைய அதை பற்றி மட்டுமே நினைத்து குழந்தையை ஈன்று ஈன்றெடுக்கிறது ஸோ இந்த கதையினுடைய தத்துவம் என்று என்ன என்று பார்க்கிற பொழுது அன்றாடும் காலை முதல் இரவு வரை அன்றாடும் காலை முதல் இரவு வரை பல 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 பிரச்சனைகள் ஆசிரியருடன் பிரச்சனை தந்தையாருடன் பிரச்சனை தாயுடன் பிரச்சனை மகனுடன் பிரச்சனை மனைவியுடன் பிரச்சனை மக்களோட பிரச்சனை வேலையிலே பிரச்சனை வேலையில் உடலில் பிரச்சனை பல பிரச்சனைகள் இருந்து கொண்டே இருக்கும் அதுதான் வாழ்க்கை ஆனால் எதில் நீ தீவிரமாக கவனம் செலுத்துகிறாயோ அதிலேயே கவனம் செலுத்துகிற பொழுது உன்னுடைய ஆற்றல் சிந்திக்கக்கூடிய நினைக்கக்கூடிய உன்னுடைய லட்சியத்தின் மேல் இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த தீவிர ஆற்றல் அத்தனை முன்னுடன் சுற்றி இருக்கக்கூடிய அத்தனை எதிர்மறை விஷயங்களையும் அத்தனை நெகட்டிவ் விஷயங்களையும் அத்தனை எதிரிகளையும் அழித்துவிடக்கூடிய சக்தியை அந்த அந்த உன்னுடைய நினைக்கக்கூடிய ஆற்றல் பெற்றுவிடும் ஸோ எந்த எதில் நீ குறிக்கோளாக இருக்கிறாயோ எதில் தீவிரமாக இருக்கிறாயோ இந்த மான் தன்னுடைய முழு ஆற்றலையும் முழு சிந்தனையும் தான் ஈன்றெடுக்கக்கூடிய அந்த மானை பற்றியே நினைத்திருக்கிற காரணத்தினாலே வேட்டைக்காரன் கண் குருடாகிவிட்டது பசியான சிங்கம் செத்துவிட்டது தீயுடன் எரிந்து கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த வனம் மலையால் அது அணைந்தது குழந்தை ஈன்றெடுத்தது அந்த மான் ஸோ எதில் நீ தீவிரமாக தீவிர எண்ணத்துடன் இருக்கிறாயோ அப்பொழுது உன்னை சுற்றி இருக்கக்கூடிய எதிர்மறை விஷயங்கள் அனைத்தும் அழிந்துவிடும் இதுதான் இந்த கதையினுடைய தத்துவம் ஹோப் யூர் ஏபிள் டு கெட் தமிழ் ஏதாவது சொல்ல விரும்புகிறியா ஓகே தேங்க்யூ வெரி மச்